Speaking of OU, you were in attendance at the spring football game. Yeah, bro. Right? Yeah. So, um, you know, it was a lot. I mean, I think the record set. Like, it was a record. An unbelievable record set. Like, I, and I'm talking about, set, I don't know if it'll ever be broken. I think every OU fan in America damn near <laughs> flew in, came to the game. Boated it. However they got there, they got there. <laughs> they was either wearing a maroon or a white shirt, dog. Like, Straight up. You know, not maroon, yachts, but, you know, OU red. Yeah, we don't even got water around there. It we'll, was, they boated we'll it come in. Back, we'll come back to that. But, you know, Florida's building fake yacht. Yeah. Fake marinas for, for the – Oh Lord, yeah. So, so I, w- I want to know, like, what what were your takeaways from the spring game? Like, because I know you went to um, practice, but it was a little cold. Man, you know, no, it was special. But, it was special. It yeah. really was. Spe- it, it, it was like, it was like, um, it was like a, a new. Uh, I can only imagine being around uh, back when Kings took over. A new King took over. Yeah, and just how the whole, at the community, the town, the whole country yeah would be there to you know usher him in and then you know applaud and just be so excited about it because this is one of the guys that they were familiar with they was they they know and they know what he brings to the table and so they're, they're excited about the new king in town yeah it was that like wow. it was just it was it was crazy i imagine and, it like being opening the jordan 11s in 96 in 96 yeah when they first came out when they, they know, first came out they first do 95 either or I Maybe feel like all the fans probably felt like that. Yeah. That that yeah. level of, high, like, that high yeah. that you get, that dopamine hit of, yeah. like. I ain't seen this before, but yeah, I've seen it before. A, and, I, and I can't wait, yeah. like, to go, now I feel to go shoot a fadeaway in these, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, so once everybody showed up and the yeah. game started and you get to watch the product on the field, mm-hmm. was there any letdown? Mm-mm. No. Um, Gabriel is the dude. Um I'm so glad we got him. Um, yeah, he's so on both sides of the ball. Wasn't he was he? on both sides of the ball, but with the the one O, like you could see how he handled the ship. Like they were yeah. quick, they were fast, they were efficient. Great he was tempo. efficient, great tempo. Yeah. Went down, red zone, red zone. And if I scored, you know, score it decision was decision making on point. Oh, bro, play call. I mean, you could tell, you know, Levy's rolling, and he was handling manning the ship. Yeah. Like it was, it was really well done, orchestrated. Made some off schedule plays, but for the most part, they were just on script, and the plays were hit. They were hit. Like, how how does he know the offense so well already? He he played well, with you Levy? Know, he was with Levy. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. then Levy, Levy went UCF. from UCF, UCF to Ole yeah. Miss. Yep. yep. Got you. Yep. So he's so just that's a yeah. He just it was plug and play. Got you. So he probably had to do some reminder, you know, a little refreshing. But yeah. dude, I mean, it, you you can't beat that. Yeah. Like you can't beat that, and, and so and it, obviously it looked like that. Obviously, with his relationship with Levy and his knowledge, and he's yeah. a quarterback, so he's really running the show. Right? Were they a step ahead of the defense in what yeah. Venables brings right now? Yeah, I think I think that defense is is still thinking. Yeah. Uh, Instead of not just playing, just yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But yeah. I'll tell you what, the, there was. I mean, guys are coming downhill now. Yeah. Like it was some smacks. Like it was some real. So some got boys. Some dudes, not yeah, they're bringing that ass. Right. Hell yeah. Yeah. It was like yeah. I'm I'm if. You know, I might I might second guess whatever I mean, you know, whatever it is. But yeah. when I get a shot, I'm coming down and I'm I'm phys- you feel phys- you about to feel me? Yeah. <laughs> like, was was there any <laughs> was there any resemblance of the OU defense that you know that um, you that know have 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 come to know and love? Get right? in there. I feel. I mean, and that's where I'm like, you know, was, I felt like there was a little hesitation. Yeah. Because um, when you're thinking you're not playing, when you're thinking you're not, yeah, you're not at your max. Like, yeah ability physically and reacting or, you're not yeah, reacting you're, you're, yeah just yeah. instinct like boom go like yeah. i don't know what told me to go to i don't know i just yeah and went and i was right <laughs> like, yeah but yeah. that that comes from a lot of you know repetition repetition normandy and you know then looking at the offense and knowing keys and yeah you know all that stuff yeah but um you know I felt there was a little hesitation but they were flying around like yeah. that's one thing that i expected and I'm looking forward to next season yeah. is that on defense we fly around and somebody whoever whoever the ball carrier is we tag them yeah like just good tackling yeah like I don't, they can make a play whatever but when they get them they got you're em. done like yeah. it's over like the play is over right yeah. here eight yards done done like, got you and that's it and so um, it was refreshing to you know kind of see that, to see that yeah and obviously the the climate says hey our defense is is going to be the focus. Yeah, offense is, you know, we're, it's there. It's gonna be good. Yeah, but our defense is gonna be a focus because that mentality 
uh, champion, a championship mentality has to be defensive. Defense wins you championships. It really does. Bro. It really does. Hey, you got to get that stop when you need it. When you need it. You know what I'm saying? You got to. And, or, and even yeah, if you keep you guys in the game. Explosive, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. If, if we're talking about different, or I'm sorry, differences yeah. from the last regi- regime to yeah. the Venables yeah. era, right? Yep. Yeah. What stood out to you the most? So, to begin the spring game before anything happened, uh, Coach V called every player that was there out on the field. By name? Nope. And by number? Like, by player. Everybody that was out on the field. So, yeah. they had, uh, we probably had. Are you talking about like alumni? P- alumni oh, geez, bro. We probably had a solid, I want to say two, 250. Yeah, I saw y'all like went from like players, 40 to the 40, like three, four deep, rows deep, bro. bro. Deep, bro. I, and that's never, ever, ever happened. Like you're yeah. talking about guys who, you know, was around in the 50s, late 50s, 60s, 70s, yeah. 80s. 90s, two, early 2000s. Not two, just the guys he recruited not when he just was there. His guy, like it was everybody. So, wow, it was everybody, bro. And so to you know, communicate, talk to these guys that played back in the day and tell these stories and all shit's funny. Yeah, you know, Switzer Day, who's like, but yeah, I don't, I don't, no, no stories about them. them. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like uh, yeah, they had them, them, the yes, K boys out there, real motherfuckers. Yeah, like, yeah, like we'll, we'll fuck you up. Yeah, uh, nah, but to you know hear all that and just be with uh, that that has never that has never happened in my experience. Even in the Bob Stoops era, that never happened like that. That didn't happen in the Bob Stoops era. Wow, I haven't seen again. Obviously, the, that seventy five had never happened. Neither had that many alumni players in one location at one time happen. That alone tells you the energy around Brent Venables and it's the expectation intense. of what it's OU intense. football. But he brought that was he brought us out. We all stuck around, and he he let it be known that this is why we're here. Yeah, like all these guys, like you know, all the blood, all the sweat, all the tears, all yeah. the work, all the time, all the grind, all the the games, uh, giving leaving everything on the field, generation after generation after generation, just. This is why we're here. 